my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's way in day. It is post vacation way in day. So I'm gonna share a little bit about how my vacation went, whether or not I stayed on track and kind of what that looked like when I stepped on the scale just a few days after I returned from vacation. So if you are new, make sure that you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I am less than a thousand subscribers away from reaching my 2020 goal of hitting 30,000 subscribers. So spread the word, pass it on, tell your friends, and definitely make sure you are subscribed. I would really appreciate the help in reaching my goal. I have just a couple more months and with due diligence, I think we can do it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these Friday weigh-ins and check out that description box down below where you're going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help you reach your lifestyle goals. There's macro and calorie calculation, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, really a little bit of something for everyone. So head on over and join us there. Check out my second channel all about weight loss, nutrition, and real talk. And lastly, head on over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join our community. It is such an amazing, wonderful, supportive place. So head on over and join us there. So without further ado, let's jump into this week's post-vacation wrap up, as well as my weigh-in and the topic at this week's workshop, which was a great one. vacation because vacation is so fun. I am going to be inserting a few pictures as I tell you guys a little bit about how my vacation went, but we had an absolutely fantastic time. I flew out to San Diego on Thursday and I flew home on Monday. So we basically had about three and a half full days together. We really truly had so much fun. On a Friday, we went to SeaWorld. We spent the day there. We went to all the shows. We enjoyed a good lunch. We had burgers and cake, and then we had a churro later and a margarita. It was really, truly so much fun, and we just enjoyed our day. We walked a ton, which helped balance out a little bit of the food that we ate, but we really, truly just enjoyed the spectacular weather. It was perfection when it came to weather in San Diego. It was absolutely beautiful. In the low to mid 70s, you couldn't have asked for better weather. And then Saturday came around and we decided to go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. So we headed down to an outdoor mall. We hit up Kendra Scott and Lush and Lululemon. I picked up some new jewelry pieces. The one I'm wearing here is from Kendra Scott, my favorite jewelry place. I also picked up some fun new hair products from Lush and we just walked around this outdoor mall, which was a great way to get in some exercise and it was truly fantastic. It was, again, a beautiful day. Then Saturday night, we went out to dinner at a pub in San Marcos, which is adjacent to San Diego, and I met up with two of my subscribers. It was delightful. We really enjoyed meeting up and just enjoying spending a little bit of time together. It was so fun to get to know them. They are truly, truly delightful. So thank you, Robin and Don, for meeting me in San Diego. It meant the world to me. And then on Sunday, we spent a little bit of time looking at apartments. My best friend is thinking about moving. So we went apartment touring, which holy smokes, is it expensive in San Diego? Let me just tell you how expensive it is. And then we headed down to the beach where we enjoyed some coffee, put our feet in the sand. It was just absolutely amazing. We went out to dinner that night and then we had dessert at a place called Freddy's, which is a frozen custard place. We don't have that where I'm from, so we really tried to eat and drink at places I don't have. Like, we didn't go to Starbucks, we went to Dunkin' Donuts, Phil's Coffee, we just really tried to eat at places that I don't have. We had lunch at Cane's, which is a fried chicken tender place, it was delicious. So yeah, food, food was there. We ate a lot of food. I didn't really track at all. We did do some grocery shopping. So we did have healthy breakfast and healthy lunches a couple of days, but we were also on vacation. So we did enjoy ourselves and just tried to get in some physical activity to make up for the little bit of extra food that we ate. But truly we had a wonderful time. Neither one of us wanted me to leave on Monday morning. And then Monday was exhausting. Flying is exhausting. So I'm still a little bit tired, but I'm hanging in there. So it was such a wonderful, well, well needed and deserved vacation. So again, I didn't really worry too much about tracking. 
I was mindful and tried to make good choices. But again, I just enjoyed being in San Diego and took in all of the foods that were part of being in California. So since I returned home, starting pretty much on Tuesday morning, I've been back on track. I actually hit up Jazzercise Tuesday and Thursday, and I'm going again tomorrow, Saturday, so I'm back to getting in my workouts. My food has been great since returning. I've been well within my calories and points. It was just I enjoyed my vacation, which we all need a little bit of vacation, even from dieting sometimes. So this week's topic was a great one. It's about willpower, and sometimes we don't have a lot of willpower. A prime example is when I'm in San Diego. I decided to let it go for a few days and just enjoy the food in my surroundings. Sometimes we have awesome willpower. We can avoid the donuts and the cookies in the office and other times we don't have as much willpower and we choose to indulge, which there is nothing wrong with that. Studies show that willpower depletes over time. As we are on a diet or a healthy lifestyle journey, our willpower starts to deplete as we go through the process, thus leading to making those good food choices and keeping those good habits a little bit more challenging. So WW wanted to share with us four tips on how to have a little more willpower when it starts to deplete throughout your weight loss journey. Tip number one is create guidelines. Think in advance how you're going to respond to certain situations. How are you going to respond when the donuts are in the break room at the office? How are you going to respond when someone brings all the Halloween candy and puts it right on your desk in a bowl, a see-through glass bowl that you can eye that candy all day long? Have a game plan. So you're not spending a lot of energy trying to figure out whether you should dig into the Halloween candy or the donuts in the break room. Also make sure that you're fueling your body so that you have a little bit less hunger and cravings when it comes to these treats or sweets that you shouldn't necessarily be eating when you're trying to lose weight. Make sure that you have a plan in place pack your meals with healthy fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Make sure that even you take the route that doesn't bring you right by the donuts in the break room. Have a different route around the office. Move that candy bowl onto someone else's desk, or better yet, put it in a room outside of your visual space. That way you're less tempted to eat the candy. I know for me, when I worked in an office, I had a candy bowl on my desk. That was a terrible mistake because I would find myself mindlessly reaching into the candy bowl and eating candy throughout the day, which all of those little mini candy bars pack a good amount of calories and points. So better yet, move it out of your visual sight. Take a different route that you're not staring at the donuts. If you find yourself going to fast food restaurants on your way home, take a route that doesn't lead you by some of your favorite restaurants. Just have a plan in place to avoid having to put your willpower into place. Number two is modify your environment. We talked a little bit about this. Move the candy bowl, move the donuts, make sure out of sight, out of mind comes into play with some of your favorite foods. I put all of the foods that I'm tempted by out of sight, things in my pantry, refrigerator and freezer. I don't wanna open up my pantry and the first thing I see are Oreo cookies. I'm a sweet eater, so those Oreo cookies would call my name every time I open my pantry. So what I do instead is put those on an upper or lower shelf or even behind healthier choices. For me, out of sight, out of mind really, really helps. Now, if you are someone that will still move all the healthy food out of the way to get to the unhealthy food, then do your best just not to bring it into your house. Don't put it in your space, in your living space, because then you don't have the option to choose it over a healthier food. Number three is make an active choice. Put your life in a place that making these choices isn't so hard for you. When choices are hard to make, we generally will choose the easier route. It's human nature. So when it comes to choosing foods, make it easy to choose the healthier option. And tip number four is use what's called temptation bundling. I really like this. I like this term. I've never actually heard this before. This basically means couple your want to do and your must do activities together. So for example, if you struggle getting out for your evening walk, tell yourself that you can't listen to your favorite podcast until you go on your walk. So you'll look forward to putting that podcast on as you take your evening walk. It requires less willpower if you have something in place and you put together the want to do's and the must do's. You wanna to listen to the podcast, you must take a walk. So let's couple them together so we get them both done 
and we're not using as much willpower to get ourselves out the door because that podcast we really want to listen to is dragging us out the front door and getting us on that evening walk. So again, take one or two of these four suggestions to make healthier choices. And by doing this, we have to use less willpower to make these choices because remember, willpower changes and depletes as time goes on. We have all the willpower in the world when we start a new healthy lifestyle or a new diet, but as we all know, that starts to go away the further we get into that. So make your life a little easier, set up your environment so that you don't have to use willpower as much. So my willpower has been on point since I came back from my vacation. I did not weigh myself when I immediately returned because just for my mindset, I knew that I was probably going to be up partially due to traveling and water weight. Of course, eating foods I don't normally eat is going to, my body's going to hold on to that a little bit more in the form of water weight. So I chose not to weigh myself until this morning. So what I did is when I first got up before I attended the workshop, I hopped on the scale. And after a few days back from vacation, I'm actually up 1.2 pounds. Now this could be a legit up 1.2 pounds. I could still be holding on to a little bit of water weight. I just worked out late last night. So there could be a little bit of water retention from the soreness of muscles, but I'm still legitimately, honestly up 1.2 on the scale today. And it was a little disappointing. I was hoping to have a maintenance and maybe even better, a little bit of a loss. This is the first time that I've actually been up on the scale in months since transitioning over to a calorie focused approach to Weight Watchers and a whole food approach. I very rarely see the scale move in the wrong direction, but I just got back from vacation. So ultimately I was a little bit disappointed and then I snapped myself back into reality and I don't regret one thing I chose to do over vacation. I was on vacation and it was just a few days and I am extremely proud of myself for getting right back on track when I got home. That's where I struggled in the past and I was able to put myself in a good mindset and a headspace when I got home. So I'm proud of myself overall. I'm bummed about a little bit of a gain, but I'm hoping to take it off and then some in next week's weigh-in. I knew going into October that I wouldn't have a stellar month just because I have this vacation in there and I am still incredibly swamped and busy, but I'm hoping to see a loss next week and make up for this week. But again, I enjoyed my vacation. I don't regret a single thing. I'm not going to beat myself up over it. It's a 1.2 gain. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been two, three, four pounds. So. In the big scheme of things, it's 1.2 pounds. So that was my vacation. That was my week when I got back and my weigh-in. And again, I really, really like this week's workshop topic. I think it's extremely relevant for every single one of us. So take advantage of making your space a positive space that you have to use less willpower to maintain your healthy lifestyle. So I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. Let me know how was your week. Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? And how are you going to implement some of these tips and tricks from WW to make your willpower a little less important when it comes to making healthy choices? If you're new again, make sure that you are subscribed. If you are watching today's video and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Again, it really helps me get a little bit closer to my big 2020 goal. And let's be honest, 2020 sucked. So if I could at least reach that goal, I would be more than happy. So make sure you're subscribed and better yet, click the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. Again, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these weigh-ins and make sure you're checking out that description box down below for my discounts and links to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website, and of course to head over and join us on Facebook. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Happy Friday, my beautiful friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.